As the holiday is winding down, Mecklenburg County health leaders say that the respiratory virus season is ramping up. And this year, some vaccines will be administered earlier than in previous years. Queen City News anchor Will Lewis has more this morning on how the county is putting out this warning because the level of exposure is high. Many will be coming home from the Labor Day weekend and headed right back to school and work. Now, usually RSV vaccines are administered in October, but the Mecklenburg County Health Department will start giving the shot now because of an increase in cases. Another worry, COVID vaccinations for uninsured residents. Dr. Raynard Washington, director of the Mecklenburg County Public Health Department, says there are around 100,000 residents without insurance in the county. With COVID cases on the rise, Washington is urging people to get the new booster vaccine. But without federal funding, the county is on the hook for the vaccine, which ranges between $120 to $140 a dose. That means some people without insurance may not get the new booster shot released several days ago. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention said they will be releasing an additional $62 million according to Washington, but the money will be spread out nationwide. Uh, it's unclear if that will actually be available to us at the local level. It's also unclear if it'll be available to us uh, to actually purchase vaccines. So we have COVID funding that we have remaining in the county, but we can't use those funds to purchase vaccines. Now, Washington says people without insurance should check to see if they are eligible for Medicaid through the state. The county is working with other agencies and hospitals to see if they will donate vaccines to help with making sure anyone who wants the booster can get it.